Hey guys, today I want to show you my Python script which is called Capture. It is pretty handy when it comes to sharing several notes over different Nuke sessions. If you are for example working in teams and want to quickly share note groups and setups, Capture can be very useful to you. But it's also useful to you if you are working just by your own on several machines and like to access note setups and don't always want to create a gizmo of everything, re-import it into your menu bar and so on. Now, Capture has two panels, one for notes to share note setups and one for images to share looks. Now, Nuke already has a built-in function in which you can select several notes and save them as a group, but I wanted to go a step further by letting the artist choose where the folder is and that he can direct it to a public folder where several artists can work simultaneously on and contribute note setups and images. But first, let's quickly install it and then I'll show you how it works. So you just download Capture and put it inside your Nuke Home directory. And inside our init.py, we write nuke.plugin add path and then Capture. Save it and close it. So now let's open Nuke and let's load the scene I prepared. So here under scripts I find this entry capture and there are like I said two panels you'll have. One is for the saved images and one is for the node setups. And you can also reveal the capture images directory. And here you can set the capture image directories. Now when you're working on a team and you're probably working of a server, you would always direct to the same folder so that everyone will access this one. So in my example, I will direct to my Dropbox folder and um, when I'm working on several machines, it's always directed to that one Dropbox folder and because it's synced automatically in the background, I can always access these node setups on several machines. So let's set up the folders. I click here on Capture Settings and here I can set the Capture Notes directory. So by default, it's in my new home directory. This folder was automatically created. If I go here into Capture, if I started Nuke the first time after I installed it, these directories were automatically created. But you could also get rid of it or just leave it like it is. So for my example, I would just um, direct to my Dropbox folder and go here to Nuke Assets and Scripts. And here I already have some, some Nuke setups. So let's hit open and direct the other one as well. So Dropbox. So now these two paths are set like I want to have it. So let's hit OK and it's now connected to my Dropbox folder. So for example, if I go here to Capture, Capture Notes Panel, I get this panel where I already have this note setups. So for example, I have a keying setup, which contains these nodes. And this becomes pretty handy because if you if I'm working now on another machine and for example, I quickly wanna have a 3D scene, I just click on that button and then I'll have it. So let's create some node setups from scratch. Um, for example, let's just rebuild this 3D scene setup. So if I would hit tab, I have the camera and I need a scene and a scanline renderer of course. Hook the camera into that pipe, the object into that pipe and I just select this nodes, give it a name, 3D scene setup, hit save and now it's saved. I can now delete it and if I now hit that button this node setup is imported automatically for me. I can also get rid of one if I just hit the delete button and tick the one I want to delete and hit OK and then it's gone. So here I already prepared some, some node setups which I use pretty pretty often. And you don't always want to create them from scratch because you can save lots of time by just saving them as a setup. So let's now see how the images panel setup works. It's for contributing several looks. So for example, if you're in your pipe on that direction 
and you want to save a look out of that note and want to share it to your other compass, you just uh, select the note you want to have. Click here on Scripts, Capture, um, Capture Images Panel. You give it a name. So for example, I rendered out here from Motion Blur 2D. To the one hit save then it gets rendered for me and I automatically get this button and if I click on it here you have that version so now everybody who is connected to that folder will automatically see that button so if they are running a nuke session they probably have to click the update button so just for another purpose, let's render out from color correct 2. I can also hit command or control, shift and I for images. And in this specific example, I just call it color correct 2. Hit save. It's gonna get rendered automatically and and here I can import it. So I can then quickly jump between these versions. So this becomes pretty handy because compositors can share different looks very quickly and will always have access to all the looks which are contributed into that folder. So let's now assume that I switched the machine, but Capture is also installed in that machine. So now I can still access the captured notes because I'm directly referring to that folder and I can quickly create the note setups. And same for the images. So I have access to that images as well here. I compare it. So this is what our children inherit. It's what our parents let So if you like capture feel free to leave me a comment and yeah, the thank you. See you soon. Basement, with a thicker coat of rust and dust. I guess there's nothing left to